Hill People Gear, I'm going to talk about our heavy load capable packs, our heaviest chassis packs. That is the Quia, the Ute, and the Decker Pack system. Uh, when you're in the back country, uh, one of the keys to mobility is being able to carry the loads you need comfortably and reliably. Uh, we have built this chassis so that it'll carry loads up to 300 pounds. Uh, we say 300 because that's the heaviest I could test. Uh, 300 pounds realistically is more than anybody should carry, but these chassis are definitely strong enough to do it as comfortably as anything's going to carry that. Uh, the the heart of the system is dual 7000 series aluminum stays. You bend these to the curvature of your spine, uh, which loads your lumbar area very efficiently. Um, and then the fact that they're 7000 series uh, aluminum, they're very resilient, but there is some flex to them. The flex is important because that provides some shock absorption as you walk for a heavy, heavy load. Um, now, a lot of people are interested in empty pack weights. Uh, we make our empty pack weights just as light as we can while still handling the, uh, handling the job. There's a lot of folks who are like, well, I've got a sub four pound pack. Doesn't matter if you have a sub four pound pack that makes the load feel 15 pounds heavier. It's all about efficiency. You want a pack that's heavy enough to comfortably carry your load. And I guarantee a lot of the packs out there that you think of as great packs because they're light, their empty pack weight is light, actually are beating you up more and making you work harder than a little bit heavier pack that has all of the proper features built into it for load carriage. So I've talked about the stays. There's also a, a plastic frame sheet internal to this chassis system. And then all of our backpacks have our harness system. This is sort of like the yoke uh, on like a, a harness that a horse would pull. It's very different from anything else that's out there. Um, and it's extremely comfortable. Uh, there's, it's not wonky as far as lateral shift because that's controlled with your load lifters, um, but it's a very comfortable setup. And then uh, our prairie belt is part of that. Now the prairie belt can be detached. It's available in four different sizes. Um, you can use it as a battle belt or just a standalone uh, cargo belt because it has the molle on the outside. The molle allows you to uh, put any of the military molle compatible pouches on it. We sell some, uh, there's plenty of mil military surplus ones, other companies carry them. So you can configure your belt however you want using that system. When you go on the website, the belt is not included with the pack. We do that because we have a very configurable system and there's a lot of our customers who already have the prairie belt they don't want to buy another prairie belt if they've already got one that they're using with a different pack. So if you don't already have a prairie belt, you're going to want to be sure to add that when you purchase your pack. All right, so I'll start going through the model line up here. You're looking at our largest pack. Uh, this is the Quia. Now this uh, has a 28 inch frame. So if you're, if you're taller, if you're over six foot, that 28 inch frame is going to be very comfortable for you. Uh, if you're shorter, it kind of doesn't matter between the two frame sizes. All of the other packs are a 24 inch frame. That doesn't affect the chassis capacity. That doesn't affect the amount of load it can carry. It's just a question of how, how high there is structure. Now the Quia is a pack where the pack bag is integral to the pack. Okay, so the pack bag is part of the frame. Uh, it doesn't affect the cargo capacity. In fact, there's heavily inside the pack, there is heavily reinforced hang tabs where you can hang meat bags inside of this pack if you want. You also have the option with every one of these packs of attaching a rear pocket to the back of the pack. And this rear pocket, I've got an example sitting right over here. This just for example is our uh, Terra pocket, but we have like three different pockets available and potentially more in the future. Uh, the pocket can be attached here in such a fashion that it's either sewn on or it's fully floating. Now that fully floating capacity, if you want to hold, uh, carry a big load, uh, you can collapse the pack bag against the frame and treat this thing just like a cargo frame. We also have a, um, an attachment that goes on the bottom that will uh, create a cargo shelf for you as well if you want, it's called the capture flap. Uh, so that's the Quia, again, our biggest 28 inch frame, uh, one big main compartment because that allows for compressibility and also a, a, a zip, zip top pocket with Velcro loop underneath the lid. Uh, so if you're just interested in backpacking, 
this is gonna be a great solution for you because it's integrated, it's more simple. You can add a back pocket or not. Um, and it's very weight efficient because the pack bag is integral to the frame. The U was actually our first uh, pack built on this chassis. And it's uh, really a nice size for all around. It's small enough, it has the 24 inch frame. It's small enough that you can use it as a uh, gear or equipment intensive day pack, you know, like for a winter day load, something like that. At the same time, it's just large enough that you can use it for backpacking in the summer. And if you want to plus it up with stuff sacks on the top, uh, you can maybe even expand that. I have done winter, not winter multi-day, but I've done winter overnights where I was carrying a stove and a zero degree bag and such uh, with the U. So that's something you can do. This is a good middle purpose all arounder, just like the Quia, uh, all of these, you know, you can have the pocket for more capacity. Uh, it is the pack bag again is integral to the frame. Uh, that makes it lighter than anything that you're going to be able to do in the Decker system with one exception that I'll get to in a bit. Um, but this is really a nice, good utility infielder. Uh, I think I'd say that if I could have, now well, this is tough, but if I could have only one Hill People gear pack, this would probably be it because it has the heaviest chassis capacity. Um, I can use it cinched down as a day pack. It cinches down extremely well, uh, or I can plus it up. I don't generally like hanging things off the top and the side of the bag, but this I can plus up and do that if I want to. So this probably is it. I mean, I have packs that I use more than this, but if I could only have one, this kind of gets everything done other than light day loads. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Decker pack frame. Now, this is something that to a lot of hunters is going to look very familiar because you're used to looking at, oh, I need a frame to pack out meat. Now, as I just explained, the Qui on the Ute both have frames and they both have hang tabs that allow you to pack out meat, but it may not be in the way that you'd like. The Decker frame is exactly the Ute. Basically, all we've done is we've taken the pack bag off of the Ute, so it's simply a frame. Uh, and then it has the same top straps, it has the same three side straps. Uh, they, it does not have the pulley style compression. I'm not gonna go into that in this video. It has just simple straight pull compression. And then we have an integral capture flap on the bottom that's a little bit bigger. This is a sewn in piece of uh, Hypalon, which is river raft material that acts as a cargo shelf. And, and you'll be able to see that a little bit uh, later in better detail. Uh, and then all we have here is a center yoke. Now, originally when I designed this, I didn't even want to include the center yoke because to my way of thinking, the way that you would use this is a dedicated pocket with a certain amount of stuff that you always want to have, regardless of whether it's a day load or a multi-day load. And then you're just going to switch out pack bags underneath that pocket. Uh, but I wanted it to be um, useful as purchase. I didn't want you to have to buy a pocket just to make the pack work. So it comes like this. And in fact, if, uh, if you're carrying awkward loads, um, maybe you only want to use this as a cargo bag, uh, this becomes handy. Another application, if you are a, uh, a canyoneer or you're uh, doing maritime operations, you're a river runner who needs to be able to actually carry their load easily, uh, you can throw a dry bag underneath this and it works out really nicely. That's a Sea to Summit dry bag. I mean, those, these are squared away bags um, and that's, that's your completely waterproof implementation using the Decker frame as purchased. So the, the first uh, Decker uh, configuration that I'm gonna talk about is with the Decker pocket. Now I wanna be real clear here, we have pockets and we have pack bags, okay? A pocket is meant to uh, take the place of that center yoke that I was just showing you. And the pocket then floats in and out so that you have space between the pocket and the frame. Uh, this is the Decker pocket. Now that can be confusing because it looks like a pack, but in function, it replaces that center yoke and is just a really big pocket. Now the size of this, the design of this, it's meant for day hunters. You can carry enough stuff for a day hunt in the mountains anywhere and you know have your emergency bivy stuff you can potentially, depending upon location, season plus up and turn this into an overnight pack. But really, the size of this, it's meant to be uh, just a day hunter's pack. And when you get your game down, you can sandwich your, um, your meat bags or your quarter or whatever in between the frame and this thing, which floats outwards. When you compress, it compresses every bit of it. So this is the Decker Pocket.
Uh, now I'm going to start walking through the pack bags. We have three different sizes of pack bags. A pack bag is meant to go underneath either a pocket or that center yoke and carry your stuff compressed against the frame. The, the pack bags are very simple. They don't, there's just attachment points at the top where you hang them from the frame and we're counting on the compression to put them where they need to be. And this is gonna look confusing. This looks just like the, the Decker pocket. This is actually the small pack bag. It's identical to the Decker pocket except for it doesn't have all of the center yoke stuff here. So what you're looking at is the center yoke, but it's not part of this small pack bag. Uh, the pack bags are all available in 500D Cordura and also Sil Nylon. And later I'll get to kind of an interesting application. Sil Nylon, uh, they're not, obviously not as stout, but they are considerably lighter and considerably more compact. And if you're really worried about empty pack weight, you might go with Sil Nylon, understanding that that bag's not gonna last as long, but even if it completely fails in the field, you're not really counting on the bag to do much for you because you're relying on the frame and the pocket or, or center yoke setup to keep your load integrated and attached to the frame. So this is the small Decker pack bag that's identical to the Decker pocket, but it doesn't have all of the rigging on it to make it act, uh, function as a pocket. So I'm gonna release it here and show you So it's just a very slick version of that um, Decker pocket, small Decker pack bag. So the next size up of pack bag that we have is the medium Decker pack bag. And I have a medium right here. Now there's a couple things interesting about this. So the first thing is the medium Decker pack bag, it is exactly the Ute. It is exactly the Ute pack bag just meant to integrate, like all slicked down, meant to integrate with this Decker frame. Um, this one in Sil Nylon, now you can see that there's no yoke, there's no pocket here. I've removed most of the side straps. This is our ultralight setup, or as ultralight as we're gonna get. Uh, this all up empty pack bag weight is four pounds, 13 ounces, so it comes in under five pounds but it's going to carry a load, a 300 pound load, just as comfor comfortably as the others. And if you're carrying a 30 pound load on this chassis, it's gonna carry like a dream. There's just no comparison to what a three pound pack and this, this pack will do for you, even a four pound pack and what this, this will do for you. Uh, so this, uh, again, this is the medium Decker pack bag with the, uh, made out of sil nylon and all of the yoke and straps have been removed, and all we're using is that integrated uh, capture flap that I told you about and the top straps. That's how this is meant to be used. We have the large Decker pack bag. This is exactly the Quia. Again, just as a slick standalone bag uh, that integrates with the Decker frame. Now this shows you in better detail what it looks like when you have replace that center yoke with a pocket. So this is exactly the pack that I carry backpacking except for the Decker version. Like I'm a Quia guy, I love my Quia, that's, that's my backpacking pack, but this is the same thing. Pal's pocket as a compression panel and then the same size pack bag as the Quia. Um, so here's, here's what's really interesting about this setup if you're a hunter or you're somebody going into base camps. You run this configuration here and to get into your camp. And when you get there, you, you pull this out. Now you've got a camp duffel bag. And meanwhile, one of the things that you've carried in is the small Decker pack bag, Sil Nylon version. This thing weighs only a handful of ounces, but it allows you to have your day load in a nice um, controlled package that then you can mount your meat bags against and you don't have to carry that big pack bag around. So, and this one, this is just a different pocket. This is our admin pocket. As you can see, it's smaller than the pal's pocket, but you can use the admin pocket or the Terra pocket that I showed you in the very beginning, the pal's pocket, 
Uh, you can use the uh, Junction Pack, you can use the Terahumara Pack, any of those you can use as a, um, as a pocket. And all I've done is remove those repair buckles from the center yoke and put them on this thing. And that turns this into the compression panel, the pocket that the Decker frame needs. So I'm gonna just reiterate that. You go in heavy with a 500D large Decker pack bag. You've got one of these things, the Sil Nylon small Decker pack bag, compressed into something like this big. I mean, it folds up into nothing. It doesn't weigh anything. Basically the heaviest thing on this is the zipper um, folded up in your big pack. And then when you day hike out of there for your actual hunt, you're carrying enough stuff in a small compact bag. You haven't changed anything about this because that's all the stuff that you need regardless. And you end up putting like your clothing and maybe your bivy system in this. So that's a really neat application of being able to switch different pack bags out. Another application um, is, and this is the way that to me this system makes sense. Um, I have the same stuff I kind of always want to carry in my pal's pocket on the back of my pack. Well, if I want to be able to use one system that allows me to either day hike or allows me to do a multi-day trip, well, probably what I'm gonna do is rig it up like this with my pal's pocket, and then I'm gonna have a small bag packed with my day load and a large bag always packed with my multi-day load. And then depending upon what I'm gonna do, oh, I'm out for a day hike, I slip this in. I'm out for a multi-day trip, I just slip in the large Decker pack bag. And so that gives you some options. Um, a lot of our customers really like the configurability of our system. They like to do different configurations for different things. And uh, those folks are loving this Decker system for the ability to swap things out. It comes at a, a penalty though, because anything you do Decker, unless you're using these Sil Nylon bags, is always gonna weigh more than either the U or the Quilla. There's another layer of fabric that needs to be in place. Um, the, the buckle layout is heavier. The fact that you've got this, this big capture flap also is heavier. So, so like a ute fully loaded with the same items is gonna weigh less than a Decker and medium pack bag fully loaded with the same items. But the configurability on a day-to-day -day basis or across a variety of trips may well be worth it for you. And of course, if you wanna snug a rifle up against this frame or carry something concealed between the frame and the pack bag, you can do that. If you do not want to put meat bags inside your pack, even though it's designed for it, and you just don't like doing that, this works out really great for you. So that's our, all of our heavy load capable packs, the Quia, the Ute, and then the Decker frame system. And we've gone through pockets, including the Decker pocket, and then the three sizes of pack bags that are available to go on the Decker frame system. Mm -hmm.